back in the garage, installing the Evo. I'm gonna prepare to put this in, do the easy part, I think, the easy part, the wiring. Um, as you can see, I got the Evo laying on the seat right there. Just to recap, over here, this is the harness that I have that needs to be plugged into the vehicle. This is the T harness. And I have a special tip regarding this T harness, by the way, for everybody. Specifically on these Dodges and Chrysler. It's a real pain in the neck to find, I think. Over here, um, on my harness, it actually shows two locations where you have to connect ignition. One on one side of the module, another one over here. So what I did is on the harness where I prepped it up, I just joined the two yellows together for ignition. Ran them down along here because they're going along with these guys for my ground, my constant, my starter, uh, my ignition all right there. Pink right here is for my negative parking lights, which I had to put a resistor in there for 2400 ohms. And over here, this is the MUX wire, which is going to be over in the ignition harness. So this here should take all oh, about 5-10 minutes tops to uh, install. Believe it or not, this is the most tricky part, connecting this T-harness. The T-harness is for the transponder immobilizer. Now, some people think that the T-harness is for the actual ignition harness. It's actually not. It's actually for the key immobilizer. This cylinder underneath it if you run it down is a five pin which is the uh, where I'm grabbing those heavy gauge cables on the Evo now if you want to find the actual harness for the transponder for the eight pin for the T harness that looks like this man you could really look for a while and not find it it's all the way down hidden in here so what I'm gonna have to do in this car is pull out the center console on the radio and I'll show you how we do that with the magic of video, you can see how easy this car comes apart, right? You should only be so lucky. Now, when you pull this out and get the screws, take this radio out, which I'm going to do. Pull this head unit out of there. And look, right there, this little box right there, that is your 8-pin transponder harness that's where the 8 pin goes in right there so right here this here is the transponder module it's got that 8 pin plug right in there and I've already pulled my 8 pin harness through the sub dash which just, just fell through there because you're watching me do it so this here is the half of the T harness which goes into the stock plug Makes a nice click, reassuring click, so you know it's in there nice and strong. Then you're going to just take the other end. Insert it up into the main module. And your T-harness install part, portion of the job is complete. Now that you've got your T-harness installed, the next thing to do is mount your module. So, I've done this T-harness first because it gives me an, a good idea of how far I can go up, down, left, or right with mounting my, my module right here. Like I said before, I'm going to use these two tabs and mount it. Now, when you're doing this, be very careful. Like, for instance, the steering knuckle right here. You see how that thing moves? You don't want to be near that. So when you're going to do stuff, use lots of wire ties. Be safe. Mount this thing in a nice secure spot where nothing moving is going to attach to it. So hood switches, uh, e-brakes, all this kinds of stuff. Stay far away from that kind of stuff, folks. I'm going to aim for up here, and I'll show you how it's going to all work out in a sec once I get it mounted in there for you.